Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question. So before getting into details, please subscribe the channel if you like the content. So the question is here, what are the differences between ETL versus ELT? This question is asked in Hexaware company. Hexaware company with the experience of around six to five to six years of experience. So now let's discuss about in detail. So first of all, what is ETL? ETL means extraction, transformation, and loading. What do you mean by ELT? Extraction, loading, transformations. So what are the aspects which is going to be different? Let's go ahead and discuss about it. I have already kept in the one of the sheet here. So let's discuss in detail. Okay, first is process sequence. Process sequence means how the process is happening. For example, if you go with the ETL, right? First extraction going to happen. In extraction, we are going to extract the data from sources. And then on top of it, you are going to keep it into staging area. Then finally, you are going to transform it. And once from staging to target, right, you are going to transform the data. And finally, you are loading into destination. This is the process which is happening in the ETL part. But when it comes to ELT part, first, what it is going to happen? First extraction going to happen, then immediately you are going to load into the target system, target system without doing any transformation, without doing any transformation. Once you load into the destination, once you load the data into the destination, then on top of it, you are going to transform the data according to the customer requirements. So how the data movement is going to happen? First data is moved from source to staging area, then transform the data, trans and then transform and finally load it into the destination. When it comes to ELT, data move directly from source to destination with transformation applied in the destination system. So first it is going to move the data from source to destination directly. Then on top of it destination, you are going to apply the transformation on top of it according to the your requirement, according to the your requirement. Transformation. So when transformation is going to perform in ETL, so before loading into the data, into the destination, you are going ahead and you are going to load in, load, you are going to perform the transformation in between. Source to destination in between, you are going to perform the transformation. Then you are going to load into the destination system in ETL. But when it comes to ETL, first performed, first it is going to be data is from source to destination, it is going to load. After loading the data, then on top of it, you are going to perform the transformation. Nothing but a here. In ETL, in between, transformation is going to happen. When, but when it comes to ELT, after you load the data into the destination system, then it is going to happen the transformation. So what is the scalability? Typically, it is suitable for moderate data. Okay, small value. Not moderate. It's not small value, but it's going to be moderate data. And you can perform the transformations and before the loading. But when it comes to ELT, which is going to be suitable, scalability perspective, well suited for handling large volumes of data and as transformation per performed within the destination system, which means you are going to perform first after loading the data, you are going to perform the transformation, then it is going to be even it is going to work huge set of data like big data and as well as cloud system, which is going to be feasible and data warehousing commonly used in traditional data warehousing. For example, in data warehousing concepts, you are going to do this particular this particular activity. When it comes to ELT part, majorly which we are going to use it in modern data warehousing and big data environments. So in general, if you can consider it even when it comes to when it comes to big data, data lake also one of the ELT system kind of stuff. Okay. Just how it is going to happen first, you are going to extract the data and you are not going to do anything with the data, just you are going to dump into data lake. On top of it, you are going to perform everything. So just I'm giving an example here. So performance perspective, it is going to it is going to take more time because it is having multiple things which is part of it. So when it comes to when it comes to ELD, first it can offer better performance, especially for large scale scale data processing and transformations happen within the destination system. And flexibility perspective may require changes to ETL process when source when source or target systems are changed. But when it comes to flexibility perspective, more flexible in terms of transformations, 
it is applied on the destination system whenever you wanted to do that you can apply it okay and when it comes to data latency data latency basically what do you mean by data latency how fast the data is going to be available in the destination system so it go it is ETL, etl system it is going to take more time because in between you have a transformation as well but when it comes to elt you have a lower latency because directly you are loading from source to target without applying any transformation that is the reason it is going to be available very faster way data is going to be available and what are the use cases when we are going to use it this particular etl versus eld so etl traditional data processing business intelligence and data match perspective you are going to use it but when it comes to elt cloud based data warehouse big data processing and real time analytics perspective we are going to use the elt system this is the answer so simply you can mention that etl means extraction transformation and load and elt means extraction load transformation so data moment how it is going to happen all the things i have explained use this particular chart and you can explain in a summarized way thank you guys